Hello children, how are you all? So today we will start next topic of grammar that is punctuation. So you have done this topic earlier also in class 2 also. Punctuation is a system of signs. So what is a punctuation? It is a system of signs and symbols given to a reader to show how a sentence is constructed and how it should be read. So punctuation is a system of signs and symbols. We use question mark, full stop, exclamation mark, comma in sentences. All these are punctuation marks. A full stop, question mark, exclamatory mark or comma help to make complete sense of a sentence. So children, let's see the rules of using these punctuation marks one by one. First is capitalization. Capitalize, which words are to be capitalized in a sentence? Number one, always, we always begin write I with capital letter like I am a girl, I am a teacher, capitalize I. Number two is capitalize the first letter of the first word in a sentence or question. You have to uh, always begin the sentence with a capital letter. Now number three is capitalize proper nouns. You all know what are proper nouns? Special names like Delhi, Chandigarh, Riya, Amit. All these are proper nouns and you have to write these names with capital letter. Now next one is you have to capitalize the names of festivals. Always write the names of uh, festivals with capital letter like Diwali, Dashera, Holi. Now next one is exclamation mark. You can see the symbol of exclamation mark here. It is used at the end of an exclamatory sentence. So exclamatory sentences express sudden emotions like fear, anger, happiness. For example, keep it up. After this, there is an exclamation mark. So this is emotion of happiness. Now next is full stop. You all know where we put full stop after at the end of the sentence. It is used at the end of a complete sentence that is a statement. So children we have already done types of sentences and simple statements are known as declarative sentence. For example Ria is a girl. After this, there is a full stop. Now, come to next exclamation mark, uh, punctuation mark that is comma. Number one, where comma is used? It is used to indicate a brief pause. Number two, it is used to separate two adjectives. For example, I like red, yellow, and pink colors. Where there are more than two group of words, we use comma to separate those words. Now next is question mark. When asking questions like how are you? What is your name? How old are you? Where do you live? After all, after asking this question, writing these questions, we use question marks. Now children, I hope you are clear with these punctuation marks. So children, till now we have done uh, five punctuation marks. Number one, capitalization. So we use capital letters at the beginning of the sentence and we uh, always write I with a capital letter and all the proper nouns are written with capital letters. Second punctuation mark that we have done is comma. It is used to show brief pause in the sentence. Next one is full stop. We put full stop at the end of a sentence. And 
next punctuation mark we have done is question mark whenever we ask questions we write questions we use question marks next we have done exclamation mark these so these marks come after the exclamatory sentence sentences that express sudden emotions now we will do next one that is apostrophe we use an apostrophe to show to whom something belongs for example this is mohan's house here you can see after mohan there is an apostrophe then s this is this house belongs to mohan we add apostrophe at the end of singular words or personal names like baby's toy rani's doll and plurals that do not end in s like children's movie after children there will be an apostrophe then s people's house people apostrophe s men's clothes men apostrophe s now next punctuation mark is quotation mark we also call them inverted commas we show quotation marks to show the exact words that someone says these quotation marks are used to quote the exact words of the speaker for example this book is mine said rani so here we will put quotation marks at the beginning of sentence and at the end of the words of rani this book is mine means rani is saying this is this book is mine now we will do one exercise punctuate the following sentences number 1 where are you going on sunday so children here at the beginning of sentence it should be capital so we will write w of where will be capital and here sunday sunday s will be capital so where are you going on sunday this is a question so we will put a question mark at the end of this sentence now number 2 children next tuesday i am going to mumbai here first letter will be capital tuesday t will be capital i will begin with capital letter i we will write with capital letter and mumbai will start with capital letter next tuesday i am going to mumbai this is just a statement so we will put a full stop at the end of the sentence number 3 grandma's slippers are blue so whose slippers are these grandma's so we will put after gra grandma will begin with capital g and after grandma we will put apostrophe then s grandma's slippers are blue this is also just a statement so we will put a full stop at the end now come to fourth sentence the tourist asked where is the zoo so here we will put t capital the tourist asked what are the words of tourist we will put comma first here here inverted commas will come quotation marks and w will be capital what is the question of tourist where is the zoo so this is a question we will put a question mark and we will close it with inverted commas now number 5 is be quiet in the library this is order given by the teacher in the library so first letter will be capital b quiet in the library so we will put a full stop at the end now children i hope you all are clear clear with these punctuation marks thank you